Hi guys. So how can we differentiate this particular function? Y is equal to 3 hot open bracket 4x squared plus 1. So let's use the, the chain rule for this particular question. So since we're using the chain rule, what we have inside this bracket, let's uh, make it to be u. So we can say let whatever we have inside the bracket there, let it be u. So u is equal to 4x squared squared plus 1. So let's take the derivative of u with respect to x. So du dx in this case is simply 8x, right? So since we made that bracket to be u, it means that our function will now look like this. Our function will be y is equals to 3 hot u. Right. So now that we have this, we have to find the derivative of y with respect to u, dy du. So dy du, um, differentiating a quote simply gives you a negative cosec. Okay, I'll show you how that comes about. So this becomes minus three cosec square u. Okay, so let me just show you how the cosec is coming about. So here's how we show that uh, the derivative of cot is negative cosec square x. So to start with, let's rewrite the cot. So cot is the same as cos x over sine x. So since these two functions are dividing, cos over sine, let's take uh, the quotient rule. So our numerator is u, that is the cos. Our denominator is v, that is the sine. If we take the derivative of cos, derivative of cos is a negative sign. The derivative of sine is cos. And since we are applying the quotient rule, we can say dy dx is equals to v u prime minus u v prime. All this is over e squared. So this is uh, simply the the formula for the quotient rule if two functions are dividing. So let's just do the substitutions now. So dy dx, our v is sine. So sine is multiplying u prime. Our u prime is negative sine. Minus our u is cos. Our v prime is cos. So we have this. I remember all this is over v squared, of which our v is cos, or rather our v is sine. So it's over v squared, that is a sine square. So let's bring it here. dy dx sine times sine, there's a negative there, so we'll have negative sine square. Cos times cos, we'll have negative cos square. All this is over sine square. So in the numerator, we can factor out a negative, meaning that uh, dy dx will become negative, open bracket, sine square plus cos square. We've just factored out the negative. All this is over sine square. Now that bracket that we have uh, sine square plus cos square, that's just one. So dy dx is negative one. All this is over sine square. So one over sine produces a cosec, while one over cos produces a sec. So in this case, we have one over sine, hence dy dx is negative cosec square x. And that's how you show that cot is given by, uh, the derivative of cot is negative for sec. Hope it makes sense. Okay, so now that we're back here, we have the derivative du dx and dy du. Since we're taking uh, the chain rule, we can say dy dx 
is given by dy du multiplied by du dx. These two functions will just multiply. So dy dx. So our dy du is negative 3 cosec. There's a square. Like this. This is multiplying with du. Sorry, it's supposed to be du dx, not du du. So this is supposed to be du dx. So our du dx is 8x. So dy dx, if I multiply the, the values that we have, we'll have negative 24, negative 24x, multiplying with a cosec square, not x, but u, cosec u. But remember what u is, we made this assumption, u is a 4x squared plus 1. So let's bring back u by replacing u with um, what we have there. So this means that our dy dx, dy dx will be equals to negative 24x cosec square, then where there's u, we'll bring back 4x squared plus 1. That. So there we have it. This is the derivative of this particular function. Thank you.